Hello and welcome to Prudent Media News. The top stories this hour. Great start for Priyanka Khande Parker at National Boxing Championship at Kalangut. Although Goa government passes bill to make Dhiryo sport experts say that Dhiryos are still banned as central law supersedes the state law. Experts say that speaker's move to slam revenue minister with breach of privilege is unprecedented and historic privilege committee to submit report in 15 days. Rajasthan Royal star Swapnil Asnodkar feels fans will support IPL even in South Africa. And Goa Assembly passes Land Acquisition Amendment Act by voice vote. Now the news in detail. Goa's Priyanka Khande Parker made a winning start in the 4th Youth and Junior Women's National Boxing Championship at Kalangut on Wednesday. She defeated Roshni of Sikkim in the Bantam weight category. The national championship was inaugurated in the presence of Santa Cruz MLA and Goa Amateur Boxing Association President Victoria Fernandez. The competition has received tremendous response from all over the country. The GABA technical advisor Lenny Digama urged more girls to take up boxing. We have taken women championship because we have seen that the, uh, our women have got a lot of potential. So we want more and more girls to come into boxing and we have got very good coaches. SAG is giving us full support with coaches, equipment, everything. We can train our boxers to even get into the Commonwealth Championship. It was only fitting that a local girl shown on the opening day. Priyanka displayed an attacking technique as she raced to a 9-0 triumph over a dazed Roshni. In the red corner, Priyanka of Goa. Priyanka is the winner. Bout number 8. Our reporter at Kalangut, Shamsundar Fatte. Advocate C.A. Kutino, constitutional expert, clarified that Dhiryo cannot be considered as sport. Central law supersedes state law in this regard. He was speaking in context with a private member's bill passed in assembly legalizing Dhiryo in the state. It is election time and the ruling party as well as the opposition members are playing a game of one-upmanship. For the first time, a private member's bill has been allowed to be passed. If the governor, if the government was serious with such a law, they should have brought a official bill. If the opposition... Kudino further added that the private bill passed in the legislation is inconsistent with the Prevention of Cruelty Act of 1960. That means the central law will prevail over the private member bill, which means ban on Dirio remains even after the bill is passed. On the lines of uh, bullfights uh, conducted, in Spain or Portugal, where they say this is part of their cultural part, part of their cultural activity. But our state legislature has passed this law yesterday. To my mind, such a law the state legislature was not entitled to pass because of the existence of a law in that field already. Being so, this law would be inconsistent with the law in force. And to my mind, the law passed by the state legislature, the bill passed by the state legislature would be inconsistent with uh, the cruel Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act 1960. Our reporter from Panji, Sunny Narvekar and Samir Bhatt in Madgaon. Speaker Pratap Singh Rani came down heavily on the casual attitude of MLAs and ministers in assembly. 
He referred Revenue Minister Jose Philip de Souza to Privilege Committee, saying that the minister has breached the privilege. This is historic, as probably for the first time in the history of Indian legislature, Speaker has taken such a decision. Goan MLAs and ministers were acting very casual in the assembly. Opposition had complained number of times that they are not receiving written answers on the time of many crucial questions. Because of this attitude, Revenue Minister received the first hit. Questions and replies are the basic privilege of the House, and the Revenue Minister by not furnishing the reply has seriously breached the privileges of the House and members. The other ministers, by not circulating the replies on time to the members, have also breached this previous precious privilege of the House. I refer this matter to the Privilege Committee for examination and report within 15 days. As per the constitutional experts, this act of speaker is unprecedented and historic. Breach of privilege comes in when the supremacy of the legislature is violated or the rights of the members of the house are violated or when there is the contempt of the house. The speaker is one amongst the equals and he is to preside over the meetings of the house and conduct the meetings of the house and protect the interest of the members in the house. Uh, only after going through the rules of procedure of the Goa Legislative Assembly, I will be able to, the, to comment upon the propriety of the decision which is taken yesterday. My reaction is a bit of privilege. I have said yesterday already to this uh, that I was surprised by this uh, action which I feel is unprecedented. Okay. Uh, the government did not always answer every question in the house. Okay. So failure to answer a question cannot be treated as a breach of privilege because they can claim uh, privilege okay. from answering such questions at any time. Okay. So if the speaker has passed an order for failure to give an answer, okay. in my opinion, uh, this appears to be rather an unprecedented action and a debatable issue. A reporter from Panji, Devidas Kamli. Swapnil Asnodkar is looking forward to playing in the Indian Premier League in South Africa. Weeks of confusion gave way to the decision that the IPL2 will be staged outside India and Goa's batting mainstay Asnodkar is relieved that the 2020 tournament is finally on. In an interview to Prudent Media Sports Editor Neeraj Prabhu and reporter Rakesh Kandorkar, the Rajasthan Royals opener spoke about the new season, Royals co-owner Shilpa Shetty and his best inning from the last season. Here are the excerpts of the interview. All set to play in South Africa in the IPL2. Yeah, obviously it's a great thing, no? Initially there was a lot of confusion saying like, you know, IPL might take place or no, but finally the nod has come from the BCCI saying that I IPL is on. I as a player, like, you know, I was uh, always waiting for I IPL to happen, but then there, there was a lot of chaos saying like, because of election, IPL might get postponed, it might not take place also. So it was a bit, you know, kind of thing for us as player, like, we wanted a, a, a IPL to happen, but when we came to know, like, you know, the final decision was taken that it will be 